escape from London with this perfect day out in Greenwich. Technically, Greenwich is one of the three rural boroughs in London, so you're still in London itself. Okay, fine. Technically, correct. Very helpful. So when you hop on a Thames Clipper and you are heading on the river, you feel like you are escaping it is fair. for the day. So come on with us as we explore a tea clipper. We stand on an imaginary but important line and we walk through a secret tunnel. Hi, America. And I'm Jordan. And we're your guides abroad. We've lived all over the world and now feel most at home traveling. We're not just here to show you what we've done though. We also show you how to do it. So we're boarding at Embankment Pier, which gets off at Embankment Station. It's gonna be a good day in London. It is a very typical day in London right now. Very yeah. cloudy skies, but the kids are excited. You're excited for the boat ride. Yeah. That's how we're starting our day. So quick note, we are taking the Thames Clipper, the Uber Clipper this morning because we wanted to get an early start, but you can also take one of the more touristic sightseeing boats up the Thames, but they don't leave until a little bit later. So if you notice, there's a TFL symbol on these because these are operated by Transport for London. So you see the same type of round circle, the line through it, that you see for the bus and for the underground. picked up the Thames Clipper from Bankment Pier, Bankment Stop. Bankment's good because it's a good central location in London. They have a lot of stops on the way to Greenwich and there's not a lot of stops farther west to get to Greenwich. So Bankment Pier worked well for us. We'll link down below their timetable for the Thames Clipper. Uh, and don't miss out to get our perfect one day itinerary around central London. So we have this all mapped out for you. You guys will love it. It is what we would send our visitors on out to do when they came to visit us when we lived in London. We're going to Greenwich. Ready to clipper. Hi boats. We left the bakery and pretty much everything opens up here about 10 a.m. So we got our tickets up to the Royal Observatory Greenwich. So we're walking through Greenwich Park right now, up the hill to the observatory. It's a 14 minute walk from the Cuddy Sark where we get off at the pier up to the Greenwich Observatory. So Greenwich is a royal borough. It's one of the three royal boroughs of London. And this area is royal because King Charles II picked this area because he already owned it to set up the observatory with Christopher Wren's help. It's hard to tell, but the hill gets steep. Really does. But there it is. That's the time ball. I'm fine. Keep up. <laughs> Come on, Jordan. <laughs> So sure, the prime meridian is completely made up, imaginary line is a social construct, same as money, real estate, stock price. But it's cool because they had to use astronomers in the 1600s, had to use it to tell time. And this is how they charted the position of stars. And they still use it today for the same reason, navigation and astronomy. Now you're standing in the east and west hemispheres of the planet. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Life changing for you? Yeah? I thought so. UK is so kid friendly. Henry and I are in the octagon room. This was built by Sir Christopher Wren in 1676. And it was used for observation, as Sir Christopher Wren said, a little bit of pop too into the design. It was a very beautiful room. It was used for 300 years for observation. It was opened in 1960 with Queen Elizabeth helping to open it up. 
So what's the deal with the time ball on top of the observatory? Great question. This was put in the 19th century to help mariners tell time. The ball would drop at exactly one o'clock every day so everybody could set their clocks to it. Even if you don't go into the Royal Observatory, coming up to the top of the park is a wonderful view of O2 Arena and Canary Wharf in just the whole area. It's beautiful up here. All right, so you can also visit a planetarium while you are up there. We have opted to skip that, even though it is wonderful and great for kids, but we've decided to do the Cuddy Sark instead. So first we are stopping by the National Maritime Museum for a quick visit. I love this, the National Maritime Museum entrance has Lord Nelson's flagship in a bottle, so you really can't miss the entrance. That's on the backside, but if you're coming from the Cuddy Sark, there's one way how to get in here. This is cut that. This is a national museum, so it is free to enter. So come on, check it out. One of my favorite parts about this museum, if I remember correctly, is a lot of the history on the East India Company. It's rise to fortunes and grandeur. This museum is massive. You can spend all day here. I think it's the largest maritime museum in the world. And this whole area is full of royal museums for you to check out for the day. We're gonna go spend all day here, but pick your favorites to see what's right for you. Okay, it's 12.15 right now. We're gonna head back towards the Cuddy Sark for lunch. We're gonna go to Greenwich Market with a quick stop at the Painted Hall, just for a couple of pictures. All this is looking familiar to you, you are correct. This is the end of Thor 2, when they fight something over something. So Greenwich Market is just outside the Naval College, right in the heart of Greenwich. It is like five minutes from the pier, easy. Okay, you can go to the market for lunch. They have a great selection. There's lots of different food stalls. You can find something for everyone. And while they do have tables there, it was a little bit crowded and we wanted to let our kids run. So we came across the street from the Cuddy Sark to this park and now we're picnicking. Okay, this is what you've been waiting for this entire day to Greenwich, is now we're going to the Cuddy Sark, the most technologically advanced ship of its time. After years of going to India and shipping tea, they continue to work on the ships, making the Cuddy Sark the fastest tea clipper ever built. That is true, did you know that? I had no idea. It is the fastest tea clipper, and is one of the last tea clippers, because after that they got replaced by steamships, which are of course a lot faster. So anyways, Welcome to Cuddy Sark. Real fast, we have this other great itinerary day around central London. Erica made a cheat sheet for it, or you can watch her video up above on it, but download her cheat sheet. It was our favorite way to get our friends out of our flat to explore London for the day. You see all the best sites. Check out that cheat sheet down below in the description. All right, let's head out to Greenwich. So this is a special alloy called Munt's alloy, and it made it so barnacles wouldn't attach itself to the hull. Whoa. It's 70% copper, 3% oh, wow. nickel. So it made that. it go extra fast. Whoa, look at that wood, buddy. This would go from Shanghai to London in three and a half months. It's a long time, <laughs> right? It is. <laughs> yeah. We've done a lot of great things. I think Henry's favorite was the merry-go-round. But now we're about to do a really cool thing that he's been looking forward to all day. We say that so you keep watching. Do 
to my knowledge, and I'm gonna fact check this, this is the only footpath that goes underneath the Thames. And it's a pretty cool, pretty cool footpath. Looks like it was built in the early 20th century. So I like it because it feels really cool down here. It's cool and damp. I don't see any water dripping from the ceilings. Oh, is there water right there? No, I see water, Marks. Oh, there's water right there. Oh yeah, we got some drips. So once you are done in Greenwich, you have an option. You can hop on the DLR or you can walk across the pedestrian footpath tunnel under the Thames and you can hop on the DLR there. Or if you have kids and you want to do something a little extra, you can keep walking about 15 minutes to mud shoot farms and feed the animals. Thanks for joining us on this amazing itinerary day. We're going up on the DLR and grab a pint back in London, central London. So I love at pubs, I'm not much of a big, I'm not a big drinker, but I love at pubs you can get a half pint. It's fun. And I ordered a half pint on accident. You have a great time checking out Greenwich. We had a great time, we know you will too. Two things, check out our central London itinerary day. It's a day just like this, but like, I don't know, a lot better. It's really cool. You see all the major cool. sites in London. We give it to all of our friends. Click the link in the description below to download it. It's free. Don't worry about it. from us to you. Also, make sure to check out this video that's on top of Erica's head right here. It is one of our favorite London videos. Have a wonderful time visiting London. Thanks for watching.